In this video, we'll look at creating a class in Microsoft Visual Basic. A class is a foundation of object-oriented programming, and a class describes the variables, properties, procedures, and events of an object. Let's look at creating a class by starting with a new project. File, New Project. We'll create a Windows Forms application in Visual Basic. Change your name, your location, your solution name. Choose OK. We'll begin by creating a class. I'm going to use the Solution Explorer. Right click on the application. Choose Add. New Item. I'm going to choose a class here. And for the name of my class, I'm going to choose Client Name. And my client name is going to include a first name and a last name. Now my class appears over here in my Solution Explorer and it's defined public class, client name, and in class. Now inside my class I'm going to code the get and the set. The get returns the value, it's a property, and the set is the property that stores the value. Let's code the set. And I'm simply going to call it first name. Then I'm going to add the public sub. I'm going to call it set first name. and then my get will be a function. I'll call it get first name. It will return a string. Now I also want to include a last name, so I'm going to copy this and do the same thing for last name. And I'm going to do a replace, a quick replace. I'm going to replace first name with last name in this selection. So my class is complete now. I have my sets and gets for first name and last name. I'm ready to work on my form. I'm going to have an input form. I'm going to name it FRM input. I'm going to add two text boxes and a button to my form. The user is going to input the first name, the last name, and then choose to save. And that save button will inst instantiate the class saving the first name, the last name, and then opening an output form and displaying it on the screen to the user. So my first text box will be txt first. My second will be txt last. My button will be save. In my save button, I am going to instantiate my class. I'm going to call it a client as a new client name. And then I'm going to call my set. And I'm going to set it to my text box. I'm going to do the same for last. I also want to create that output form. So after the user inputs the first name and the last name, 
then I'm going to create an output form and display that back to them. So in my application, in my Solution Explorer, I'm going to add a new item. I'm going to add a Windows form. I'm going to call it Output Form. I'll call it FRM Output. And I'm going to add one text box to the form. This will be TXT output and I'm going to make it a multi-line text box. Now back to my input form. On the Save button, I'm going to instantiate the form, the output form. So I'm going to define the output form and I'm going to pass my client and then I'm going to show my output form using show dialog. Now over on output form, when the output form first shows through the show dialog command, I'm going to run some code. So I want to view the code of my output form. I'm going to right click on it in the Solution Explorer and choose to view code. So I'm going to add a public sub new here. And I'm going to name client record as a class, my client name. And I'm going to run a method called initialize component. An initialize component is a method that creates the components on the form. And on FRM output, we have one component right now, the TXT output code which is that large text box, the multi-line text box. So it's going to create that text box for us. Then, in that text box, I'm going to do the get. I'm going to get the first name, and I'm going to concatenate to that I'm going to get the last name. I'm going to run my program. So this is waiting for my input of my first name and my last name. And then on save, it uses the class to set my first name and set my last name in the class. Then it also opens my output form and it uses the get to get from the class my first name and my last name. So this was an introduction to using classes in Visual Basic.